Okay. I want you guys to see. Here's the rock. And I'm making this in stages. So I'll just move on to the next part in a minute. Here's the rock. And here's the kiln that I'm going to heat the rock in. So that I can put the electrodes in. And here's the piece of magnesium. It's already done with a screw as a post. And no, it's not the same screw. It's not the same metal. But it does not have to be. It's just a connection point. So anyway, I want you to see that, and I'm going to do this in steps. Okay, so anyway, I said that uh, these rocks are commonly found everywhere here in Idaho. In fact, you can't go anywhere in Idaho where there isn't a ton of rocks. So I have my choice of all these different rocks that I can drill and I can count the sample and then I can figure out what mixtures in the rock. Alright, so these rocks are all over the area and I just want you to see that. So there we go. So for those that want to know what the rock is, it's just an Idaho rock. Okay, so here now I'm uh, showing you the rock in the kiln and I'm going to stop this right at about 700 degrees okay I want to get this right here so here you can see that I'm heating the rock because I'm going to melt the stuff into the, the holes and you can see what the temperature is here on the kiln and so I just want to make sure I get all the steps in here right so there's the rock inside the oven heating and then I'll come back and show you me inserting the electrodes. Okay, so now you can see the rock is at about 654 de 50 degrees. It's cooling down because it's outside the kill. So I'm going to bring this to 700. Okay, so I've set this electrode in right here, which is the magnesium electrode. And this is just the screw. And now I'm going to put the other material in the other side. Okay, now I've set the copper in right here. And as you can see, you got the magnesium and the copper. And then I'm going to break the center list out of this. So you can hear it sizzling. And we should be about ready to test. Okay. So now what I've done is... I've broken the connection between the two points and then I'm going to clean this up a little bit more and I'll come back and show you. Okay, you can see that I cleaned it up and I carved the space in between and now I'm going to run this power oscillator. And there we go. Okay, so I had to change the mix a little bit on this because of the rock. This is a, it's very important to, uh, to make sure that these channels are separated. And you can see there, and you can see the power oscillator running. And believe me, this is running two LEDs. So, there you go. So that's how you make it. Thanks for watching. Okay, towards the end of the movie, here is the Marcus Reed cell. And there's the cells. Right there. Thanks for watching. More later on this.